December 22nd, 2018. It's a day that, to this point in my life, has gone down in infamy to be the worst day of my life. For well, that was the day I lost the one who gave me life on this earth, my mom and my best friend. It was a blow that, well, to be honest, I really wasn't sure I was going to recover from. As you grow from childhood to adulthood, it's always there on the back burner of the mind. You know it's bound to happen sooner or later, but the reality of it, well, just never makes it off the back burner to the forefront of the mind. That is until you're staring what I honestly knew would happen, but never thought it would happen in the face. face. The passing of my mom. The mind goes back and forth in so many directions. It becomes gridlock. For truly, the worst day of your life has snuck up and blasted you with a one-two sucker punch. And as you're pondering and trying to make a little sense out of it, though still in a fog, still in a daze, the second worst day of your life is upon Mom's funeral. These are the times where momentarily you just don't know if you're going to be all right. Then, thinking back, back, back on the months before her passing, all the time she said, Now when I move to heaven, and I would interrupt, saying we don't need to talk about that right now. Well, now, I wish I would have talked about it a little bit. It may have helped in this process. As the days pass on to a new year, you realize the hurt, the pain, the suffering. It's all so selfish. It hit me one night as I went out and looked up at the stars. Mama, you wrestle up there in heaven, seen our Lord Jesus, our mom and sisters. No health problems anymore, just solid leaping from an uncontainable joy. Mom, she wouldn't come back here for just a Then a sense of happiness sweeps over, if just but for a moment. And it's a tide of being so happy for her, albeit a bit jealous, but sad for selfish music. Because I can't see or talk to her for a time. But as King David says in the Bible, I can go to them, but they can't come to me. The mind is just a cluster from a gridlock. Nothing like this. Yet fullness. And just as you think, will my mind ever stabilize? Text message. I get a text from my agent asking me to come to Florida and help her drive back to her mountain home in North Carolina. Everyone has an answer. But God has blessed me with a She's always been there in my life. Every time I look back through my life, there she has been, cheering me on. More than an aunt, an a -T. a caring friend. So I'm headed to Florida, and it's just what I needed. And in true a -T fashion, there what I needed.
Florida, and all her beauty far as the eye can see, and ah, the smell of the ocean, even at the Clearwater Airport. Text message. Uncle Jack and the gray truck. Got it. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, you get out the terminal and... All six trucks there are gray. Yes. Turns out, he was the first gray truck. If only I had started peeping in the window in the front instead of the back. Day one. On the agenda, going to meet Peggy and picking up Mr. Joey. And with Uncle Jack at the wheel, you'd best know that you're guaranteed to make record time. Move it or pull over and milk it with his pedal. Is to the metal. He must have been born with lead affixed to his foot. An hour 30 drive, then becomes 45 when he's behind the wheel. Not his best timing, but it'll do. I'm pretty sure that you can find my fingerprints firmly embedded all over the back of my aunt's car. So, oh, shit. shit. recently and I feel blessed to have met her. She had an awesome, genuine love for life and people. Amongst the most unique, coolest of people you could have ever met. Peggy, you gotta smile now at your sister. Say hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Her family radiated that same love for life and people. And while at Peggy's, we head next door to meet the neighbors. This fellow in his 90s. The secret to a long, full, and voluptuous life? Just love it and the ones in it. Are you too busy playing in that? Oh, you? Good. Look at, look at, uh, Tony's trying to get Look over here. Look, Grandma. This is our nephew. Give her a hug. Tony? Tony Nudo. He's a video one. He's a photographer. That's nice. He's uncomfortable. That's all right. That was Barbara's brother's boy. Right, Joey just isn't used to the camera yet. Stay tuned, though. Sorry we're interrupting your dinner. No, oh, you're not interrupting. Yeah, we, interrupt. we never interrupt. We never interrupt. I play with my friends eating in the morning. Eating in the morning. They're in burritos in every morning's house. And, 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 I, and I live only on one team and I beat them. I Truly some of the greatest people I've ever had the great pleasure of meeting. Yeah. Wait till you see her haircut. Oh my god, we got the wrong dog. Oh my god, we got the wrong dog. Oh, oh she, she looks so yeah. much better. Does she have real short hair? Yeah. Real short. So yeah. yeah. We we took her to the groomer, and the first time we ever had her cut short. And he goes with me to pick her up. And they bring this dog out. He said, that's not our dog. (laughs) But Jesse didn't agree, did But Jesse knew that we were his parents, or her parents. They were jumping, jumping, jumping. I like Jesse to jump on her birthday. You like long hair or short hair? Uh-huh. It grows out. Said, It'll grow out. Like it's not yours, guys. Do you have a liking picture? Do you know what I like? It's him on the end. I'm quite sure about that. It's a very sweet, yeah. We don't. It's a very sweet one. I like the He's going to do a video. I like the cut back. The family and Peggy and. And I, I just thought if you had any pictures of them, he could add it. No, I didn't take I didn't take really any pictures. I just enjoyed being with them. I used to buy when I was well, okay. photos. That's okay. They have something in Listen, we're not going to stay. We just want to get some pictures of Anchor because 
Tony's going to put this together for them. So Peggy can see it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's right here where I ask you to. I am thinking I have that too. But this was a smaller bottle. Save me the bottles. Really, really, really good. Yeah, I, li I like a small But, um,. I don't even see it. And, and then I'll get, get in the picture. And Grant will get in the picture. And we'll all be in the picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All behind Fred. What a happy family. Joe, where are you? You gotta sit on his lap. Come on, Joe. Come over here. Get in here. We'll get Joe in here. Come here, Joe. Okay. Come here, honey. Come on over here. Maybe we should get Sam. Can you see him? Oh. Because it's probably gonna take my chair. Come here. Right. There you yeah, go. We gotta have her smile. Now. There you go. You get between us. There you go. Right in, right in between. Yeah, we got that nice picture. That's good. This is the woman. Right this is the woman I love. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, get up closer. That's nice. And put your arm around Grandma Joe. Say, I love you, Grandma Joe. And put your arm around Fred. Put your arm around Fred. Aww. Put your arm around What a nice picture. That is very pretty. Smile. Well, smile, you're on candid camera, boy. <laughs> He's going to put you on YouTube. Smile, because you might be famous. Well, if you better take that picture pretty soon, I'm going to be leaving. Heading home, we probably could have broken the record Uncle Jack set on the way up. Had it not been for that pesky stop at the Dollar General, I feel that I'm tapping into Uncle Jack's thoughts so precise. So, show. Back at the house, Joey has decided to definitely open shop on his very own YouTube channel. So, we get started. Tell me when to say it. Okay, now. Hi, my name is Joey. I like cats, dogs, and frogs. Um, and I'm um, eight, and please like and describe. The end result, you've seen, but here are some behind the scenes stuff for you. And the final result, getting his intro done for tonight. Hi, my name is Joey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I like cats, dogs, and frogs. Please like and subscribe. Day two in Florida. We get started. So that would be making Joey's videos. Still oh, will. will. Uh, frog video. Hi there, I'm Joey's frog there, Froggy. That's right, you'd never guess, I'm still still. And the park video. Look what I can do. Uh. Yeah. 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 That's just amazing. What's that? He's coming in. No, but a little bit scary. My YouTube channel is going to be all about crazy stuff. Nowadays, no climbing necessary. That's Flash Gordo style. This kid has imagination that's out of this world. All I really did to this video was add the effects. 
that, in his mind, was really playing out. Of course, I am his cousin, so I'm a bit biased. I'll admit that, I guess. But I've been mentoring young boys since 1998, and honestly, few have had the imagination and creativity that Joey has. That statement, not biased, based on fact. Day three is for chillaxing, relaxing, and of course, the beach. I mean, come on, it's Florida, you gotta do the beach. And beach, we shall do, after first grabbing some dinner. While sitting on the boardwalk by the beach, with a pina colada in hand, by this fine fellow. Ah, sweet dreams, they are made of this. dinner, and I stroll along the beach. And I just can't help but notice God's great showing that he put right before my eyes. Nature, she is truly the greatest show on earth. So show a wonderful gift from the Almighty. Another great day here in Florida. So show. Day four, the last day of this awesome trip to Florida, and I've noticed two ducks in unison since being here. It's been a beaut of a thing to see. Side by side, they float in harmony across the lake each day, though today we got trouble. Looking out to the lake, I only see one of the two, and he's looking at his lover quacking with another brother with a different boat. No boat. I'm sure is what he's thinking as well. Hopefully not. The duck watch is on. This, folks, is better than reality TV. So, show updates. They are coming. Anyway, so it's day four. On the agenda, an outing with my YouTube, Uncle Jack and Jesse, to the Carillon Pavilion. A nice little ringy dingy bell in a park situated right smack in the middle of clear water. Little did I know I was to spend some quality time with Jesse Girl in the Carillon Park Pavilion. They couldn't have dropped us in a better place. But sure. So it appears. That I have to sit here and wait with Jesse at the park while they went to work out. Sound good? Do we have a choice? I think not. Beautiful day. Beautiful place. Bells. I told him Barb will be here with bells on. That pun was intended. Oh, do do do. How you doing, Jesse? Miss Nant Barb, bet you. I knew you would. I knew she would be. Okay. Let's just sit here for the five minutes. What do you say? Do we have a choice? Still here. Fifteen minutes later. Loving it. Yes, sir. Twenty minutes in. No different than 
15 minutes ago. I just thought I'd check in. I do have a change in, in stature. Jesse's finally decided to lay on down. Get that right, Jesse. Yes. This is mom and daddy. That's right. Absolutely. the shit out of me. We're stuck up as the bell in that tower. Absolutely. We're gonna go for a walk. That's what we can do. Yeah, we're yes, gonna go for a walk and get walk and get walk. Five minutes later. Absolutely. Nothing's changed. Although I have moved over a little bit, I was right there, but now I'm right here. Making progress, baby, that's what it's all about. Peace. So, uh, we're just hanging. Yes, we are. Continue 
waiting on Frank. She's excited about it. Can you tell? I think you can, Millie. Now we're mobile. We mobilize. And we are walking. That's what we're doing. Hold on. Good footage? Oh yeah. Great. Beautiful, isn't it? it is. Did she give you any trouble? No. No. Do you, know, dinner? do you know how to fry chicken? Chicken nuggets? If I, yeah. If I put them in the pan, would you just turn them over until they're brown? Sure. I'll have Uncle Jack make our salad. We're gonna have chicken, pasta, and salad. And if you want some broccoli, do you like broccoli? We're heading on out tomorrow. Heading for the cold country. Oh, it's not cold this time of year. It's nice. No, it is. There's Papa. Go get him. Go get him. Now, which glasses do Boy, you Boy, I could not these here. I couldn't budge her till, till y'all got gone and then she'd come. <laughs> Day five, the day of departure hath arrived. And as a footnote and update to the ducks, they are, uh, it was a fluke. They are back together. <laughs> but the day of departure hath arrived, the sad but true. And whilst I certainly could have relished in a couple more days here, I'm grateful for what I got and grateful to my aunt for the great opportunity. I really had some much needed head clearing, and now I'm ready, refreshed, and renewed. Words can't say, or never could say, to my Aunt Barb, my A&T, or Uncle Jack, just how much this trip has meant, how much it was needed. Indeed, this car, her Hyundai Genesis, has all the bells and whistles, so we shall be going in style. Now, headed to my A&T's Mountain Home in North Carolina, having fun all along the way. Yes, indeed, we have all the essentials in this nice big Genesis for a smooth and relaxing drive back. I've always loved to travel with my Aunt Barb going back to when I was a kid. She'd go to Illinois, coming from Florida, stopping in Tennessee, and we'd go to Illinois together. Good times. Always await with my A&T. Oh, mm. We'd like to Michael McFall, former Thank U.S. ambassador to Rio. Videos of if you're driving. Yeah. What are you videoing? Huh? Jesse? Jesse or the Mark Gumbert is with Skyhorse Publishing, one of the few publishing houses. She's scratching herself. She 
messages. Yeah. Maybe a few things have changed. Like, say, me putting my aunt on edge while striving while filming. Sorry. Yeah. It's all good when you're with my ANT. We stopped midway in North Carolina and South Carolina near Hilton Head, which is the halfway mark apparently from Florida to North Carolina. More aptly, Harding Hill, South Carolina. Staying here, which was a nice, spacious, clean room. What more can you ask for when you're on the road and just want a place to sleep? And across the street, we ate at this Chinese restaurant. Which, not bad for a buffet Chinese restaurant. Not bad at all. Feeling cooped up? I did what you do when you're feeling cooped up. Took the car and went to Wally World. So shoot. Sure. Daylight arrives, yet we sleep in. Ersh. Unfortunately, missing the continental breakfast, but the rest was nice and much needed for us, all three of us. Myself, my ENT, and Jesse. After a devotion, we're back on the road again. Destination set, North Carolina. The mountains are calling and I must go. North Carolina, so for sure. <laughs> There's nothing like the feeling of coming into the view of your destination. Ain't that right, Jesse? A and T is a plan. Already looking ahead to my dad and my brother dinner the night they arrived to pick me up from the show. What's your um, dad's like for his birthday? Um, what does he like? A cake or pie? If I, I thought I might buy something for Easter dinner. He likes, uh, he likes pecan pie. Like. Okay. I'll either buy one or make one. Um, and will he eat ice cream on it? Oh, yeah. He loves ice cream. Well, I was thinking... Um, he bought me a pot and eat it all. What kind of ice cream does he like? Um, I think he, he likes the chocolate chip, but he doesn't get the chocolate chip. He's a cute thing to the dogs. He gets that butter pecan, so he, he can share it with oh. the dogs. Well, will you go in the grocery store with me and get that spice for steaks and Michael likes what what you call it? Dales. Dales. Um if we can't find it, we'll tell him to bring it. Okay. You can text him and say if Barb's gonna get some steaks if you cook them and bring your Dales because she couldn't find it. She doesn't have any. And um you make the macaroni. 
Okay. And I'll make a vegetable. Maybe we'll make a salad. Pie. And we'll find some butter pecan. As it comes closer and closer to our final destination, all the memories of this great trip begin to replay in my head over and over. It's great memories, much needed memories. As with any road trip, it is always nice rolling up and into your destination. To the mountain home we made. Yay! This mountain home holds so many memories for me since childhood, and I will revel in the few days I have here before this journey comes to an end. Yes, the perfect beginning for a perfect ending, and I'm taking it in, savoring every minute and every moment. Really, I wish I would have gotten more footage after arriving in North Carolina. Indeed, some awesome footage would have been had. Namely, my a and throwing her foot down on the gas pedal to get through a road of mud, slipping everywhere. All's on a mission to give me some cigarettes. Bless her heart. It was a sight to see, and proof positive, that indeed, Mario and Red Dale Jr. were even evil can eat. Who, by the way, before the passing, just lived a few condos down from Florida find their rumble weekend. His son now has taken up residence there. But any NASCAR driver or stunt performer ain't got nothing on my game. As the old saying goes, time flies when you're having fun. And we showed it. Just doing what we love and spending some great, awesome, wonderful time together. Just my A&T, Jesse Jewel, and myself. These mountains. How to build a country fan. <laughs> These mountains truly remind you that there is a place where you can get away for a time to forget and rid yourself of what's being. Refresh and refine yourself. Remember who you are and really who God created you to be. We all have gifts. We all have a different mission. Indeed, my departure from this awesome finished journey is at hand with the arrival of Dad and my brother. The memories, however, are for us, and thank God for that. Memories are a part of this journey of life, reserved in the heart for recounting any old time under police. I am recharged, reset, renewed, and ready to move forward in life, knowing and reminded that, indeed, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, looking ahead with a clear and focused vision, hand in hand with Christ Jesus, moving forward in life, doing what it is you love, and indeed, it's a great feeling. As mom goes, I'm so happy for mom. She ran her race, and her promotion is well-deserved. The race now is set before me, and I intend to run it to full victory. And I'm aiming for the win, too. So, show. Sure. I do know. From Canton, North Carolina, a bomb system out of the coast, USA, went up. Wow. Years and years you've put your time in. I've been there, too. Everything you You gotta do what you